What is up everybody? Briss at Team Aquascape. The gang and I have a really, really cool project today with something very special for you. They have a, a little boutique pond right behind me that we are going to transform into a neat little pondless waterfall. And there's going to be a very, very special feature on this project that you're gonna have to wait till the very, very, very end to see. So apparently Mr. Helfrich is on his way back. I don't know, I think he's gonna like it. I really like it. It turned out really, really, really cool. Huh? I told you. I told you he was coming. Wow, what a difference. Yes. Holy cow. I told you that we had a surprise for you at the end of this project. Not just the reveal of the waterfalls itself, but I wanted to show you an exclusive view of a brand new product. So enough jibber jabber, should we turn the camera around? No, yeah. let's keep talking. Yeah? Um, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so, check it out. So we have a very special project today. We are converting a pond into a pondless waterfall, which is something that we do relatively commonly. They have a, a little boutique pond right behind me that we are going to transform into a neat little pondless waterfall. So you can see they've got some lilies in here. They've got some spiked rush. So you could definitely tell that they were enjoying their water feature to a certain extent. However, it does look a little tired and I guess out of date. I also believe that the customer didn't want to really maintain anything anymore. Kind of done with the whole fish, the whole pet side of having an ecosystem pond in their backyard, but they still wanted the sights and the sounds of the water. So we are going to give that to them. So we're going to transform this into a pondless waterfall while still recreating the sights and the sounds of water for them. We are also going to incorporate a spill bowl right off the side. So kind of a nice, neat, and I guess somewhat unique aspect to a pondless waterfall. We're prepared to do that. We've got some containers on our truck that we can throw them in. If you can hear the water behind me. Neighbor also has their own little water feature. Oh, he's, looks like he's got a pond over there too. Let's see. Hmm? Yep, there's a pond over there. Water features must be a signature of the neighborhood. So that's really neat. So we're going to be putting our stamp or our fingerprints all over this one and creating a very unique and neat, quaint, perfect for the setting pondless waterfall. So hope you can follow us. Glad you guys are here. Hope you're excited to follow along with us on this journey and let's get rolling. in the truck right now so as we speak the stone is being unloaded as well as you can see behind me we've got the super sack of gravel we've got one hopper of 18 to 24 inch granite cobbles down there there's gonna be one more coming over that's what we're gonna slap back there and create this waterfalls with these bigger boulders so some of these are really 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 nice really good contours to them where you've got some of these undercuts some of them are a little flat long skinny but then we also have some maybe some more of these egg shaped ones and then we've got obviously some triangles some stuff with flat tops they will pull off a really neat style waterfalls using these boulders about a half hour into the project. You can see the original shape of the hole. That's actually a really deep pond for the overall footprint. Super impressive that they were able to pull that off. So we got all the rock out, all the gravel. Looks like all we got left is this little bit of sludge. We're gonna go ahead and just disconnect it from the skimmer and the bio falls, peel all that liner back in, make a big wad of it, and then lift it out of here and get it into the truck. So at this point we are cruising right along. All right, so shaping the hole is now taking place because it was such an irregular shape and we only have six small aqua blocks right there. We are pulling dirt, pushing it over and kind of leveling off the bottom so that we can get our reservoir in. We want to have the top of these blocks anywhere from six to eight inches below the top of patio. So right now it looks like we're going to be somewhere around a foot. We did bring a bunch of sand as well, but we're going to get the aqua blocks in there, kind of see where we're at and then get them to our desired elevation and then cut that pump vault in, which will sit over in that that back corner right there. We'll get the fabric liner, then our aqua blocks and pump vaults in. Good progress. Really, really great progress. Okay, so you can see our reservoir is now in. We have one rock in there. That is what stands up about the height of our berm. So that might be one of our frame rocks and we'll just do like a double waterfall using that as the frame or a double frame rock. Pump vault here. So I'm just gonna stand right here and explain to you guys what the configuration of the pumps will be. So there's two pumps. There is an aqua surge 2000 to 4000 variable speed pump, which will sit on this side. And then there's an aqua surge 2000 that will sit on this side of the pump. So you've got a 
two to four and then a 2000. The 2000 is gonna be plumbed this way using inch and a half line with a little ball valve just outside the pump vault. That'll run this way. And there's going to be a very, very special feature on this project that you're gonna to have to wait till the very, very, very end to see. So I hope I'm building this suspense for you. So stay tuned to the end of the video because you won't see it till the very, very end. Then the two to four is going to be plumbed this direction using two inch line. And that's going to feed our diffuser, which will feed the waterfall, which is gonna be built somewhere over into here. So just wanted to give you a rig rundown and we're gonna get cruising at building this killer waterfalls reservoir area. done with lunch. The waterfall is essentially built. We just have to get some wing walls in. We're going to go ahead and hook up our plumbing to the pumps and run our two inch line running up to the spillway. We are done, dudes. We're close to being done. So wing walls, finishing touches, and then that special surprise we talked about. Okay. Apparently Mr. Helfrich is on his way back to the job and I don't know, I think he's gonna like it. I really like it. It turned out really, really, really cool. Big rocks, it definitely makes a statement back here. Half. Huh? I told you, I told you he was coming. Wow, what a difference. Yes. Holy cow. Well, I told you that we had a surprise for you at the end of this project. Not just the reveal of the waterfalls itself, but I wanted to show you an exclusive view of a brand new product that these two boys and their small army over in tech have been creating. Why don't you guys tell us about what I'm about to turn the camera on and show our audience. Let me start first, Chris, with just the way it turned out. Like, I love it. I love the way, the way I pictured it. What's so nice about working with you and the team is I can picture something you guys know exactly what I'm thinking. The way the bowl is carved into the patio it looks awesome i love the simplicity of just all the big rocks rather than small little stacked rocks like what was here before it's an enormous transformation it was a working ecosystem mm -hmm. but it was like an old kitchen it just needed a massive facelift and this is a huge huge transformation fantastic facelift a plus for you and the team it looks awesome so we've been working the product development team the last couple years been working on a line of fire products so introducing for 2021 a new line fire and water and fire products task Brian with the objective to, hey, we need to find some locations to put this in. Funny story, we were in the back testing the unit out with my colleague, Matt Augustine, and a woman came in the back and actually saw what he was doing. What are you doing? Oh, that looks like it has fire on it. And Matt answered a few questions, left, and then literally the next day, Brian called me and said, I think I have a project we can put a fire thing on. She said she was just at the building and saw it. So within like 24 to 40 hours, yeah, we sold the project. Later. So yeah, it's gotta be yeah. popular. Yeah, without um, a doubt. And I think this whole feature takes a very typical Chicago summer backyard setting and to its Full potential, right? You got the fire, the water, the waterfalls, you got the sound, the avian house, just brought and this entire yeah. patio back to life. And I can't wait to see that thing run. I love the fire rock. I think we're gonna end up putting this in all kinds of crazy designs, and I think we're just scratching the surface of the potential. Oh, absolutely, of it. absolutely. So enough jibber jabber, should we turn the camera around? No, let's keep talking. Yeah? Um <laughs> <yeah>. okay, good. <laughs> so waterfalls. And there is that spillway bowl. So, you know it's bright out here, but that up there is the burner. You guys, look at this. So Dave, this is plumbed with propane tank, yeah, right? Yeah, correct. There's a propane tank. We'll hide it off on the side here. We have a little control panel up here. It's push button ignition, but you can start it all up. We're still in the process right now. We gotta wait for the homeowner to come out because we have a few different options for the top. Obviously, you don't wanna look at this. This is their 60,000 BTU stainless steel burner, but we can cover it with either fire glass or we have this really cool like tumbled uh, lava rock we can put on top of it. So once we do that, that'll hide this and then it just looks like the fire kind of erupts out of the center of the spillway bowl. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's cool, man. I'm excited. So it's, it's taking one of our better selling fountainscapes, yeah. that kind of classic spill bowl, and then incorporating fire, fire into it, yeah. which is a whole different element. I Absolutely. mean, fire and water, that's awesome. You can start a waterfall off. You can put it on the edge of a pond. If you have an aqua basin, something real simple where the water just pours over into one of the basins. I mean, I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun using this in your design. That is so kick-ass. <laughs> Oh, 
It's only about 3.45, 4 o'clock here, so the sun is still shining, but I love how this project turned out. I love the movement. I love the simplicity of the big boulders, and there's only a few of them. I mean, there's maybe nine or 10 rocks that make up the entire water feature. It just looks incredible. I can't wait for another year or two when these plants, the centauria, the irises, everything starts to take off around it and really nestle this water feature into that berm. You guys know I love my soft skate because it just ties everything back together and adds a softness to that hard element of the boulder. So it turned out great. The guys did a fantastic job. They absolutely killed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Don't forget to give us a like, comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them there as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hit the little bell so you can stay up to date to all the Team Aquascape content that we're coming out with every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Till next time, ciao! Oh, 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 oh,